So we've meandered our way south along the Mary Creek Trail and somewhere along the line and in Clifton Hill, we actually crossed a very important geological contact. We went from those uh, 2.03 million year old basalts into basalts that were much younger that came in uh, and in size through that particular uh, unit. So um, about 800,000 year old basalts. And those are represented by the green colors here on this map. And as we came into Studley Park, when we went across the bridge out of, out of Abbotsford, which was um, much lower elevation from here, up the hill into the high area, we've gone into much older rocks. Uh, looking around, you can see quite clearly that we're in the, uh, the Silurian mudstone and sandstone sequence. Uh, so clearly when those basalts were forming, this was an area that was quite high in elevation and the basalts were flowing around this particular area. This area is really interesting uh, for a variety of reasons. First off, it's, we've still got our, our familiar Silurian sandstones and mudstones, but uh, in, this, in this particular location they're actually very steep and they're strongly deformed, they're faulted and folded. And so we're going to try and spend a bit of time working that out and what that's trying to tell us about this landscape. But the other thing that comes into this landscape here is a thin, ferruginous, dark red colored unit that sits on top of the um, sandstones and mudstone unit occasionally. And um, I've got a bit of it here. It's really interesting. It's got quartz pebbles in it. Um, it's got little chunks of granite in it, um, bits of feldspar and so on. And it's, it's quite clear to me that this is a different geological unit hitting, sitting very high in the landscape. Uh, it turns out it's, it's a, a probably a Miocene or, or early Pliocene deposit uh, that has been sourced from the highlands at that time, the Victorian Alps, uh, the Southern Highlands, and washed down over this landscape when the landscape looked very different from the way it does today. So the highest parts of the landscape uh, currently, places where we would never expect rivers to run, uh, are where we still have a lot of these remnants preserved of these big sheet gravels that were deposited across the landscape um, several million years ago. In terms of a sequence, we know that those units were deposited on the Silurian uh, mudstones and sandstones, and rivers then cut down into that landscape and created some topography. And then those valleys were infilled from these sequences of basalts sourced from the north of Melbourne that flowed into the landscape. And so we're putting together a bit of a geological story that uh, puts another unit in that, in between that package of the mudstones and sandstones uh, and the basalts, this uh, red gravel deposit here.